Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all to another session of RBI 247, wherein we study finance current affairs. Before I start today's video, a little piece of information. So last time I talked about how the team of Anand Jindal is going to bring something very interesting for all of you. Well, that is going to happen on 25th March. So stay tuned, something very interesting is going to take place and we are bringing something very new and interesting for all of you. Let's get started with today's video. Today, we're going to talk about the speech that was given by RBI Governor at International Research Conference on Fintech, which was organized by IIM Ahmedabad. Now, the speech was on the topic of Fintech financial revolution, Fintech revolution in India and innovation, inclusion and regulation. That was the theme of the conference and the speech was on this theme itself. Now, this is very important hai for our exam. A question can be asked in descriptive answer writing. How has this fintech revolution been different? What is the fintech revolution that the governor talked about? Or essay maybe a both points like sakte ho. If an essay comes on fintech revolution in India, how is it different? What are the risks associated with the financial sector or the fintech sector especially? So a lot of points can be fetched from his speech here. Both interesting, both a speech. Hai. You'll get to know a lot of different points from a regulatory angle. So we all here are targeting to become RBI Grade B officer. And down the line, RBI Grade B officers become top management of RBI, right? So up regulation is a very important you know, role or function of RBI. Regulation. RBI is the regulator. So we as students of RBI Grade B exam, we have to know what RBI does as a regulator, regulation kaise hoti hai, we have to know everything about that. So this covers the a little bit about the fintech revolution and also about regulation of the fintech uh, revolution or uh, fintech sector. Okay, so we have discussed the theme. The theme was innovation, inclusion and regulation in the fintech sector. Now, the in, uh, yes, the fintech is a word we all know. It is interlinkage of two words, finance and information technology. So using technology, how has technology helped in the penetration of financial services and financial products in the economy? We know that a lot fintech firms are now coming up, starting from, let's say, Paytm, PhonePay, Bharat Pay. These are all fintech firms and they have revolutionized the payment structure in India. Not just these, but a lot of firms, fintech firms are working towards providing credit, just a cred lelo, or lending and borrowing, P2P lending, digital lending. These all services are available to you using these fintech products or fintech companies which are working towards penetration of financial services to making easy access to financial or financial services to all the consumers, to you and me using technology. So that is the function of fintech companies or that is the fintech revolution that has been brought out. Now over the years technology has led to globalization of fintech financial services. How? Very recently, we talked about UPI pay now cross border linkage, UPI of India and pay now of Singapore. Ye payment mein tha. Similarly, RBI and the Central Bank of UAE, they have signed an MOU where they will work towards interoperability of the interoperability of the CBDC, right? So globalization of financial uh, services is taking place, not just innovation has taken place in you know one country in India but also we are taking the fintech sector of India globally. Now this has initiated a tectonic shift in the efficiency and speed of these services. How are we getting these services? Are we getting speedily? Yeah, fir, abhi bhi slow hai. So for example earlier to get a you know a statement of your bank account of all the transaction you had to wait in a queue ek line mein khade hona padta tha, and you had to get your passbook. Now, within one or two clicks, you can get all the information of your bank statement, of your transactions. So, this has been possible because of technology only. So, speed and efficiency mechanism, uh, efficiency mechanism, was other better. Hua hai. Now, you don't have to stand in a line to get just your uh, financial statement. Uh, opening of an account has been very easy. Now, these were traditional services that were provided. Up or be zada innovation, innovative services are going For example, buy now, pay later concept. EMI concepts for purchase of products, uske ilawa pensions, uh, insurance, investment, all these sectors may fintech has taken a leading role. Now, the governor talked about initially what makes the ongoing fintech revolution different. So, the ongoing fintech devolu revolution, which started after the 2008 crisis, how has it been different? Pehle bhi innovation hota tha, right? For example, 
card, debit card, credit card. That was an innovation back then. But now, how has this innovation been different? So use of artificial intelligence, machine learning has now collaborated with the finance sector. Finance sector mein jo bhi kaam kara hai, now they have used this technology, technologies like robotics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data analysis. And using these technology, they are helping access of financial services to the consumers. So this has been different. This evolution is defined by increased computing power, use of new technology such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, APIs which leverage big data. Now, emergence of new entrants and new businesses models bhi ho gaye hai. Bohut saare different models a gaye hai. For example, you know, uh, capture of capturing of consumers using big data analysis. The emergence of big, big data analysis, even better insights of consumer ki preference kya hai and behavior kya hai. Right? What kind of service do you as a consumer, kis consumer ko target karna hai? That is also we get to know through big data analysis. Banks get to know or this fintech firms, they get to know. Now, अब इनके डिफरेंट मॉडल्स होते हैं एक सेट ऑफ वेरियस मॉडल्स थ्रू विच दे गेट टू नो अबाउट वेरियस कंज्यूमर प्रेफरेंसेस कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर राइट किसको कितना कैसा लोन चाहिए फॉर एग्जांपल नाउ व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स दैट द गवर्नर टॉक्ड अबाउट बेनिफिट्स फ्रॉम द फिनटेक डेफिनेटली रिड्यूस्ड एंट्री बैरियर्स यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी नाउ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज का पेनिट्रेशन इन द इकॉनमी इज इजी फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन हुआ है इंपॉर्टेंटली इट हैज अलाउड अनबंडलिंग ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज तो इफ यू सी हर एक जगह पे फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज आर नाउ अवेलेबल फ्रॉम यू नो के सी सी किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड टू यू पी आई वन टू थ्री यू नो अर्लियर यूज टू थिंक टू मेक पेमेंट थ्रू यू पी आई यू ओनली नीड यू नो यू नीड इंटरनेट कनेक्शन बट नाउ फ्यूचर फोन में भी इट इज अवेलेबल थैंक्स टू यू पी आई वन टू थ्री पे सो हर एक नीच सेक्टर में लो वैल्यू ट्रांजेक्शन करनी है यूपीआई लाइट इज देर ईच एंड एवरी सेक्टर में ईच एंड एवरी नीच सेक्टर में fintech sector ab aa gaya hai fintech sector is working and unbundling of various financial services whatever service you may need insurance lending online lending buy now pay, la pay later services all these services are now available to you very easily so unbundling of financial sector uh, financial services in a manner that is economically viable even at a lower scale of operations in turn consumers have benefited better consumer experience and convenience now ab fintech sector mein risks are involved even today if you are making payments you know using paytm or any other wallet ppi instruments apne purchase kara hua hai there are a lot of issues that we as consumer face sabse bada data hamara data ja raha hai data privacy then cyber crime then what a lot of times what happens is you make a payment and a payment is not made or a payment is made but the product is not being purchased by you or any you know technical default and cyber crime right so these are all the risks that are emanating from the fintech sector ab these were the risks that i talked about ye consumer side ke risks the risks are also faced by the regulated entities like banks or fintech firms and risks are also faced by the regulator that is rbi right so the governor talked about three types of risks to so, governor ne risks ko teen type mein divide kar diya hai the first is the risk for a regulated entity or any new entrant let's say a fintech firm what are these regulated entities banks nbfcs financial institutions then consumer ko jo risk hai from the fintech sector and regulator so teen logo ko jo risks hai the, the rbi governor has divided risks from the fintech sector in three parts the first is for regulated entities so the regulated entities face risk these are legal risk reputational risk governance operational risk in addition to the usual that they have credit market liquidity risk uske ilawa consumers ko like i said security discrimination mis selling data privacy that are the issues faced by consumer or the risk faced by consumer from regulator perspective there are risk ab regulator that is rbi what are the risk associated with the regulator sabse pehle financial stability अब फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी आफ्टर द 2008 क्राइसिस बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है अ लॉट ऑफ रेगुलेटर्स आर फोकसिंग टूवर्ड्स फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी तभी ये टू विक टू फेल टू टू विक टू फेल का कॉन्सेप्ट भी आया था व्हाई इफ वन बैंक फेल अ बैंक इज टू विक टू फेल इफ इफ अ बैंक फेल्स इट विल हैव अ रिपल इफेक्ट ऑन द इंटायर इकोनॉमी 
आफ्टर द टू थाउजेंड एट क्राइसिस तो फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी पे सबका बहुत ज्यादा फोकस होता है वॉट शुड बी यू नो द एक्सटेंट ऑफ सर्विस दैट अ कंपनी कैन प्रोवाइड इट वॉट आर वॉट इज द डिपेंडेंस ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स इन्वेस्टर्स और दैट वन कंपनी एंड इफ दैट कंपनी फेल्स वॉट विल बी द रिपल रिपल इफेक्ट राइट सो ये सारे जो रिस्क है दैट इज फ्रॉम द रेगुलेटर परस्पेक्टिव सो द गवर्नर टॉक अबाउट थ्री परस्पेक्टिव फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ रेगुलेटेड एंटिटीज कंज्यूमर परस्पेक्टिव रेगुलेटर्स परस्पेक्टिव कितने अच्छे से डिफाइन करा है उन्होंने रिस्क को सो इफ अ क्वेश्चन कम्स इन योर एग्जाम इन डिस्क्रिप्टिव वॉट आर द रिस्क एसोसिएटेड इन द फिनटेक सेक्टर तो आप ऐसे तीन पार्ट में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं रिस्क फॉर द रेगुलेटर रिस्क फॉर द कंज्यूमर रिस्क फॉर द रेगुलेटेड एंटिटी नाउ एन एग्जाम्पल टॉक अबाउट हियर रिस्क फिनटेक ऑपरेटर ऑन लेंडिंग साइड ये तो लेंडिंग साइड में वॉट यू वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग वॉज अनसिक्योर्ड लोन्स की अवेलेबिलिटी बहुत ज्यादा हो रही थी राइट सो इवन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट पी टू पी लेंडिंग विच इज द फॉर्म ऑफ डिजिटल लेंडिंग हियर तो पी टू पी लेंडिंग पीयर टू पीयर लेंडिंग इसकी गाइडलाइंस वेरी रिसेंटली आर बी आई रिलीज इट गाइडलाइंस ऑफ पी टू पी लेंडिंग राइट अंडर दिस अनसिक्योर्ड लोन्स व प्रोवाइडेड लोन्स एट एक्सॉबिडेंट रेट इफ एनी यू नो बोरोअर इज नॉट ऑथेंटिक और द क्रेडिट स्कोर इज नॉट हाई they could get loan at a p2p lending platform very easily similarly credit organization or credit fintech firms jo hai which give you credit and they you know tell you to purchase more that is also a risk that is emanating these days like i talked about buy now pay later concept ek jo aaya tha wherein you buy now spend a lot of uh, you know you don't have a lot of money abhi but you buy now and then keep paying later to the fintech firm that was also a concept jiski wajah se लेंडिंग uh, बहुत ज्यादा हो रही थी एंड बोरविंग ऑन द कंज्यूमर ऑन अ नॉर्मल कंज्यूमर दैट वाज टेकिंग प्लेस दैट वाज आल्सो अनदर रिस्क नाउ लाइक आई टॉक लाइक आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन कुछ मॉडल्स आर डेवलप्ड बाय दीज फिनटेक फर्म्स यूजिंग दीज मॉडल्स दे चूज विच कस्टमर टू टारगेट व्हाट इज द कस्टमर प्रेफरेंस एंड यूजिंग दीज मॉडल्स दे ऑल्सो फंक्शन जो भी अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ दे आर वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स गिविंग यू लोन देन वॉट इज द मॉडल दैट दे आर यूजिंग now use of these models also bring a question of fair treatment fair treatment of what of extension of credit that is why the governor said it is necessarily that highly automated fintech businesses to ye jo models hain they are highly automated for example agar ek lending process ho raha hai in a lending process from kyc getting all the information to acceptance by bank to क्रेडिट जितना अमाउंट है टू नाउ रिकवरी ऑफ लोन्स ये बहुत बड़ा प्रोसेस होता है लाइक like, एक लेंडिंग का बहुत ज्यादा प्रोसेस होता है सो यूजिंग दीज मॉडल्स दीज सर्टन मॉडल्स व्हाट बैंक्स डू इज बैंक्स यूज ऑटोमेटेड मॉडल्स ऑटोमेटेड मॉडल्स सो ये जो पूरा प्रोसेस है वन और टू फंक्शन वन और टू प्रोसेस विल बी ऑटोमेटेडली डन बाय द बैंक ऑटोमेटिकली डन सो ऑटोमेटेड मॉडल्स आर फॉर्म हाईली ऑटोमेटेड फिनटेक बिजनेस मॉडल्स for decision making take care of requirements of fairness through additional procedures control so the governor is saying that the onus lies on the fintech firm to make its models its deplo- deployment of model kaise wo use kar raha hai apna model ko so deployment of model it there it should be control there should be safeguard which procedures it is following it should be fair okay now there is obviously like i said risk of unreliability and vulnerability of technology okay now when we talk about risks sabse bada aata hai consumer ki protection as a consumer a fintech firm has to be conscious towards consumer and has to be conscious towards consumer protection because any business is targeting its consumer a particular you know set of consumers for your targeting for example a business firm agar aap ek payment aggregator hai your target will be a business or a merchant similarly if you are a credit provider short term credit provider your would be a consumer who spends a lot spender right so at the end of the day you are targeting a consumer now when you targeting the consumer you have to be conscious of its protection of what the consumer needs so aise products lay jaye that are working towards the consumer that are not misleading the consumer or miss selling the consumer so miss selling fraud misconduct by the fintech firms may harm uh, the very consumer they intend to serve so the governor said that there should be careful management of the risk is significant for sustainable development of the fintech sector 
अगर कंज्यूमर को लॉस होगा कंज्यूमर ट्रस्ट लूज हो जाएगा अ लॉस ऑफ द कंज्यूमर ट्रस्ट मे पुट एन अनरेपरेबल डेंट ऑन द सेक्टर्स ग्रोथ राइट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बहुत अच्छे पॉइंट्स है यू कैन राइट इट इन एनी आंसर सो वाइल द रेगुलेटर्स आर ऑलवेज वरीड अबाउट कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन फिनटेक शुड इवन बी मोर अवेयर विजिलेंट प्रो एक्टिव इन इंश्योरिंग दैट द बेटर ऑफ द बिजनेस रिमेन्स प्रोटेक्टेड ओके नाउ देन वी आर ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन द गवर्नर ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन विच वॉज इंक्लूडेड इन द थीम ओके नाउ फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर्स द फिनटेक फर्म्स दे आर वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स इनोवेशन बट द गवर्नर सेट दैट इनोवेशन शुड वर्क अलॉन्ग विद इंक्लूजन इनोवेशन शुड वर्क अलॉन्ग विद इंक्लूजन जो भी आप इनोवेटिव प्रोडक्ट ला रहे हैं योर फोकस शुड बी ऑन इंक्लूजन वॉट इज इंक्लूजन अवेलेबिलिटी एंड एक्सेस ऑफ वेरियस फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेस फ्रॉम सेविंग सर्विसेज बोरोइंग सर्विसेज इंश्योरेंस इन्वेस्टमेंट पेंशन ऑल दीज फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज एक्सेस हो टू एवरी सिटीजन एवरीबडी राइट सो ऑल दी निगलेक्टेड सेक्टर्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी दे शुड बी इंक्लूडेड फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन आरबीआई का ही टारगेट है एंड दैट्स वाई सेट कि फिनटेक फर्म्स विच आर वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स ब्रिंगिंग इनोवेशन should also work towards inclusion a financial sector that does not prioritize financial inclusion cannot distributes the benefit of economic growth to all levels of the society now this is the definition of financial inclusion he also talked about that in countries that have large numbers of people who are unbanked so ya to unbanked hai ya underbanked hai a country which means there are not enough banks or people who are Uh, you know you who have access to banks access to various services the financial innovation could help enhance financial inclusion especially if they are paired with digital identification system for example kyc norms biometric identification aadhar linkage these are the examples of this digital identification system to kaise ek fintech firm ne डिजिटल आइडेंटिफिकेशन को ईज लाया ईज इन द डिजिटल आइडेंटिफिकेशन प्रोसेस दे ब्रॉट ईज इन द डिजिटल आइडेंटिफिकेशन प्रोसेस यूजिंग विच फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन कुड टेक प्लेस अ क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल प्रधानमंत्री जन धन योजना जन आधार जैम सॉरी जन आधार मोबाइल यूनिटी राइट अ क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल इवन नाउ यूजिंग आधार गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग यू नो डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर्स टू योर अकाउंट डायरेक्टली यूजिंग आधार राइट फिनटेक फर्म्स which are not just working towards innovation but also in uh, inclusion will be the king in the market now the fintech can bridge credit gap that exist due to various reasons such as absence of credit scores cumbersome documentation ye already hota hai there are a lot of fintech firms which are working to providing access to credit uh, you know easy credit and access to credit now one of the uh, examples that the governor talked about in fintech firm and how RBI RBI is is working towards innovation is RBIH. Important hai. Last year in 2022, RBIH. This is a subsidiary of RBI. Very important, which is working towards innovation. Now, this pin this up information. It is a Section 8 company working. A uh, Section 8 company which was launched under the Companies Act 2013, working as a subsidiary, wholly owned subsidiary of RBI. Now, there is this news that RBI along with rbih is working towards end to end digitization of kisan credit card lending kisan credit card lending mein digitization aayi ki which means a lot of processes that are involved in the lending process especially through kcc will be now automated so automated processes will be followed within banks and integration of banks with payment service providers or other systems yes in making granting of kcc loans more efficient and economical this is what currently the rbi along with rbih is working on now regulatory approaches now humne inclusion innovation pad liya regulation ke bare mein thoda samajh lete hain like i said you want to target rbi grade b exam uske liye bahut important hai dekhna ki rbi as a regulator how is it working how is it working towards the fintech sector thoda thoda idea ho jayega aapko isse so the governor said the approach of any regulator approach to regulate the fintech sector will invariably be informed by five fundamental objectives kisi bhi regulator ke five fundamental objectives hone chahiye financial stability like i said too big to fail concept aaya tha 
तो फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी इज द टारगेट दैट शुड बी द ऑब्जेक्टिव कस्टमर प्रोटेक्शन अभी हमने समझ लिया इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम हर नीच मार्केट में एक फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम यू नो एवरी प्रोडक्ट शुड बी अवेलेबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वेरियस फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम कंपटीशन एंड ऑर्डरली डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सेक्टर ओके नाउ द आरबीआई गवर्नर टॉक्ड अबाउट तो उन्होंने रेगुलेशन को दो अप्रोचेस में डिवाइड कर दिया वन अप्रोच इज हैंड्स ऑफ अप्रोच वन इज द हैंड्स ऑफ अप्रोच द सेकंड इज द स्टेटस को अप्रोच इन हैंड्स ऑफ अप्रोच दैट इज एट वन एंड हैंड्स ऑफ अप्रोच में क्या होता है व्हेन द रेगुलेटर हैज minimum presence and broader guidelines the regulator has given broader guidelines and these fintech firms fintech companies are working towards innovation bringing innovation along in this guideline area only so they are working freely without constant regulation of the regulator a regulator har step ko har process ko monitor nahi kar raha hai broader guidelines are given by the regulator and they are working freely in bringing innovation right so this is the hands off approach now what is the status quo approach the meaning of status quo we all know status quo is jaisa chal raha hai waisa chalne do so there should be not no not any change right so what is happening shall continue to happen for a certain period of time that is status quo so the governor talks that talks about the status quo approach and he says that status quo is the already traditional services that are provided traditional financial services financial products that are provided उन पे जैसी रेगुलेशन चल रही है वैसी ही रेगुलेशन नए पे भी चलेगी राइट दैट इज द स्टेटस को अप्रोच ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट आर दीज ट्रेडिशनल फाइनेंशियल सर्विस और फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट लाइक ए टी एम राइट और बैंकिंग सर्विस दैट यूर गेटिंग सेविंग्स अकाउंट डिपोजिट करंट एफ डी दीज आर द फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट दैट यू आर गेटिंग दैट आर ट्रेडिशनल फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट विच आर ऑलरेडी देयर विच एवरीबडी इज यूजिंग अब इनके एडिशन में जो नए आ रहे हैं सेम रेगुलेशन उन पर भी अप्लाई होगी that is the status quo approach now at one end of the spectrum there is hands off approach that advocates allowing the sector to operate freely and develop without any regulatory intervention at the other end of the spectrum there is status quo approach that aims to maintain existing framework without any relaxation to cater to new developments right that aims to maintain the existing framework that is already happening uh, that is already there there should not be any relaxation to the new development right now the rbi says that a regulator should take a middle path it should neither be a hands off approach nor a status quo approach jahan pe new sectors ko ya new financial service providers ko kuch leeway nahi diya jaye no relaxation uh, is given to you know the new product providers for new and developments right so neither it should be a hands off approach nor it should be a status quo approach the regulator should follow a middle path under this acha uh, ab ye here we are talking about the status quo approach under this approach fintech product and services are regulated in the same way as traditional product and services okay now under this regulatory approaches he talked about the you know products that rbi has already brought and rbi ne kaise help kara hai for example regulatory sandbox framework aaya tha in 2019 what is this regulatory sandbox framework so it is working under rbih towards innovation only so any company any fintech firm that wants to work or bring you know new products financial services financial products then live testing can take place it the framework regulatory sandbox framework allows live testing of new financial products or services under a controlled environment under a regulated environment right so for example if me cohorts aaye the currently rbi has brought out six cohorts working under this under these cohorts are basically the themes under which various fintech firms will be selected and they will work towards uh, you know uh, pilot projects of their products koi bhi product launch karna hai regulatory sandbox ke andar aap ek product launch kariye control testing kariye aap test kariye usko product ko in the environment controlled environment under the regulations aap unko control kar liye now a certain leeway or relaxation is given in a few rules for these fintech firms which are working under the regulatory sandbox framework mechanism bahut important hai last time exam mein aaya tha what is regulatory sandbox framework mechanism iske cohorts ke bhi question aate hain okay now then one of the success stories of this regulatory sandbox mechanism is 1 2 3 upi 1 2 3 pay wherein using feature phones now 
वन कैन मेक पेमेंट्स यूजिंग यूपीआई मेथड्स तो यूपीआई पेमेंट्स कर सकते हो इवन ऑन फीचर फोन दिस थैंक्स टू द रेगुलेटरी सैंडबॉक्स मैकेनिज्म दिस इज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ रेगुलेटरी सैंडबॉक्स मैकेनिज्म नाउ अब ये रेगुलेटरी सैंडबॉक्स फ्रेमवर्क इज इंटर ऑपरेबल सिंस लास्ट ईयर वॉट इज दिस इंटर ऑपरेबल रेगुलेटरी सैंडबॉक्स मैकेनिज्म इट मीन्स दैट कोई भी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेस दिस दिस शुड नॉट बी लिमिटेड टू वन सेक्टर ओनली और वन रेगुलेटेड रेगुलेटर राइट इट कैन यू नो अडेप्ट टू अदर सेक्टर्स एज वेल और इंक्लूड अदर सेक्टर्स एज वेल सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर कोई प्रोडक्ट इट इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर इट कैन ऑल्सो वर्क अंडर सेबी या स्टॉक एक्सचेंज में समबडी वॉन्ट्स टू वर्क सो देर इज इंटर ऑपरेबिलिटी अंडर दिस रेगुलेटरी सैंडबॉक्स मैकेनिज्म ओके आर देन about rbih in 2022 as part of its efforts to promote innovation in the fintech se- in the fintech sector rbi set up rbih along with that new fintech department was also launched by the rbi was established in 2022 isse pehle fintech department alag nahi tha because of usage usage of you know technology or penetration of technology uh, and using the financial sector technology ka use ho raha hai it was important for the rbi to bring fintech department so ye last year aaya tha in 2022 now its objective is not to promote innovation but also challenges and opportunities ko identify karna and address those challenges work on those opportunities now within the regulatory envelope ab regulatory envelope ke andar rbi talked about two kinds of regulatory mechanism one is activity based regulation and the other is entity based regulatory mechanism What is this? Act- नाम से ही पता लग रहा है एक्टिविटी मीन आरबीआई इज ब्रिंगिंग रेगुलेशन ऑन सर्टन एक्टिविटी किसी एक्टिविटी पे ला रहा है फॉर एग्जाम्पल पी टू पी लेंडिंग है सो नो मैटर विच एंटिटी इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड पी टू पी बी इट अ बैंक और एन एन बी एफ सी और एनी फिनटेक फॉर्म एनी फिनटेक कंपनी राइट इफ इट इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड पी टू पी द आरबीआई इज ब्रिंगिंग गाइडलाइंस और रेगुलेटिंग द एक्टिविटी and not these entities similarly microfinance if any nbfc is working towards that any bank is working towards or any fintech firm or any aifi so rbi is not individually monitoring the entities working towards that activity but it has brought out guidelines for this activity and any entity that is working towards let's say microfinance or p2p lending will be there uh, under the activity based regulation okay okay now the rbi is focusing uniform rules on activity across all regulated entities yes now uh, in conclusion what the finance uh, the rbi governor talked about us agar aap dekhenge the conclusion is all the points that he talked about in the entire speech from innovation to inclusion to regulation in conclusion he concluded all of these points and bahut acha conclusion diya hai firstly india is the third largest fintech ecosystem in the world while regulation is providing support to the fintech firms but the governor said that fintech firms have to be reliable have to ensure that there is a balance between innovation and risks चाहे वो कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन हो या एलिमिनेशन ऑफ वेरियस रिस्क हो इनोवेशन तो लानी ही है बट शुड इंश्योर दैट देर इज अ बैलेंस ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दीज देर फॉर फिनटेक सेक्टर परस्पेक्टिव सेल्फ रेगुलेशन कैन बी अ यूजफुल टूल फॉर सेटिंग एंड एनफोर्सिंग रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड ही टॉक दैट टू की एलिमेंट शुड बी द फोकस ऑफ एनी फिनटेक फॉर्म what is it customer centricity and governance when he talked about customer centricity he says ki aise products lao the products design such products which are robust and that avoid fintech induced losses to the customers for example p2p lending agar ho rahi hai exorbitant rates pe lending ho rahi hai or let's say the credit score of uh, of the borrower is not checked before lending and this created a loss for the lender so such losses should be minimized should not be induced as a products lay jaye by the fintech sector along with that customer suitability ensure kare and miss selling and imprudent lending na ho right similarly uh, consumer protection pe focus rahe and ensure that inherent biasness and there should be a fair treatment in all the models we just discussed bahut sare fintech firms they work on certain automated models now these automated models wherever they are deployed they should work in a fair manner 
Now, the benefits that the governor talked about of the fintech sector were it drives financial inclusion, efficiency of the financial sector and create new economic opportunities for the millions of people. Economic opportunities may jobs be ajayengi, ease be ajayengi. When you are able to do something very quickly or very easily, it gives you a it gives you a lot of time to do other things or save money, save time. Similarly, job. RBI is a department leke aaya hai, ek subsidy khuli hai. Similarly, fintech sector. All those who are working in technology or you know in IT can now work in finance as well. Fintech may you can work. So creates a lot of economic opportunities for millions of people. Now, the RBI's approach has been to balance innovation with regulation without compromising the principle of prudence. Now, the fintech sector also needs to look into self-regulation. The governor said the onus lies on the fintech sector or the fintech companies also to be self-regulated, thoda khud ko bhi regulate kare, like we talked about, minimization of risk, uh, you know, focusing more on customer protection and ensure that issues relating to technology, ethics, customer protection, data privacy are addressed. Yes. This brings us to the end of the speech of the governor. Bohut achhi, bohut lambi speech si. That is why we have just talked about this in this video and nothing else. This brings us to the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed it. Please dhyan se padhiye guys speech ko. Thank you.